Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, billions of all ages, what's poppin'? I'm the major establishment, Townsy, bringing y'all my live reaction to My Hero Academia. Boku no Hero Academia, chapter number 230. Last time, uh, I'm saying, I didn't get to, like, if you saw my last three, four videos, y'all already know what the fuck was going down. Your boy's PC was fucked up. Graphics card was fucked up. We didn't have access to cut, cut the damn computer on. So I missed last reaction, my bad, but we back, the two week time skip is over, ain't no more missing, you know what I mean, not on, not on purpose at least, ain't no more missing none of that, last chapter went crazy, literally exactly what I thought was gonna happen, happened your boy twice, not only did he use that goddamn quirk of his, we, we found out why he, he was trying to not take damage, that boy was on the sidelines of literally every goddamn fight that the League of Villains ever basically been in. Probably with Giganto Makia too, shit. Until they broke them arms. He broke them arms and it was like, hold on, that's more damage than my clone could take. I'm not a clone? What? And it's like I've been saying this whole fucking time. I know, I mean, I... Man, it's not a clone, bro. Like, there's just no way. That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> I get it. For his character, and I don't, I don't dislike it for his character. I think that's dope, you know what I mean? Like, he was scared. He was scared. I get it. You scared for your life. But I just, I didn't, I just didn't think he was a clone. <laughs> I just didn't believe it. I just like, mm, mm. I think someone would have showed you you were a clone a long time ago, motherfucker. It's been years. I, you'd have been best definitely shown that you were a fucking clone. But, your boy twice has activated his quirk. So now it's clone on clone action. Well, clones versus puppets. Oh shit, it's about to be a battle battle. I feel like Twice should have better control over them because they're not like actual puppets. And, and, Reed Destro literally just said about how bro can get this trap. Bro, I'm trying to get up in this motherfucking chat. Hey, I've been excited for my hero. I'm low key mad as shit. Like, I'm not mad that the Dobby fight was put on hold, but I'm mad that the Dobby fight was put on hold. <laughs> like, dog, like, if we getting backstories and shit like that. We getting Dobby backstories and shit like that too? Dog, oh, gimme. But we starting it straight off the bat. He said, my quirk double can turn one thing into two, but I can only double two things at a time. And finally, the doubles I create are more fragile than the original. And so they showing him like making little mini sack ball clones of himself. So like there's a first one and the second one. So there's him, which is obviously the strongest. The first one, which would be weaker than him. And then the second one would, would, would be weaker than the first one too. And until the first one disappears, he's unable to reproduce a different object. So he's like, I'm sorry. This must be when he was like going into League of Villains in the first place. He said, it's no use. Sorry, Shigaraki. I totally got this. I totally got this. Under the right conditions. It's a powerful quirk. Yeah, so yeah, this was back in the day. Well, no, nah, this wasn't this wasn't too long ago. This was like this was like in the beginning of the arc when they like right before they fought Giganto Maki. He said, in order for me to double something, I need data and an image, and I've got neither. So I won't be able to reproduce the Yakuza's bullets. Sorry if I couldn't be useful. I'm sorry for holding you back. God damn, dog. <laughs> All he got he could doing is being apologetic. Yeah, it is. So, like, again, I feel like at the end of this arc, I was going to say a few of the villains might split. It's probably just going to be fucking spinning. Because it, sound like, it sounds like the rest of them are, are giving, like, like, they have cases to stay by Shigaraki. Like, they actually like Shigaraki. The only person that wasn't at the beginning of this arc was fucking Spinner. The only one. Fucking twice going crazy in this panel right here. He said, but I want to repay you for accepting me. That's all I ever think about. Especially now that he know that he real. Oh, man. I feel like he might start, like, hurting himself to make sure he real. He might start, like, cracking knuckles and shit like that. <laughs> if he start doing that, that's going to be funny. That's going to be dope as fuck, low-key. He said, let's do this twice. Let's do this hands, boy. Twice started running the fade with his self, boy. Bing, boop, bop, all that. It's time for a massacre. We must hold back Lord Skeptic. But don't kill the double user. Yeah, don't kill it. Oh, that's why she struggled when she said user. Oh, 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 oh my God. He made a wave of twices. Infinite multiplication. Sad man's parade. My nigga pulled out the Naruto Shadow Clone Jutsu times a million. Dog. Hands. Who said whoever wanted, I got it. Run it. Y'all got 100k people, I got 100k people. It literally just says bye bye trauma. 
<laughs> and everybody busting, shooting at their head. Kill them, kill them all. Ooh. Yeah, twice fucking this shit's up. Twice breaking arms, beating ass, running hands. Dog, it's a sea of black. It's literally just a bunch of fucking twice-a-sees-a-sees-a-sees. And your boy, he got Toga in his arms. Don't stop, stop fucking with shit. No, you all ain't fucking with the League of Villains. No, we got the gang too. Even Reed Destro is fucking shook. Remarkable. He's overcome his psychological trauma. Mr. Skeptic, it seems your calculations were off the mark. I must say it's quite rare to see you fail. <laughs> he got up and left. He got up and left, dog. He went in the elevator. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My boy, I wonder if that's his quirk or not with the whole veins coming out. Obviously, his eyes, you know. But the vein, he said, fail? What are you referring to, Redestro? In my career, I've only ever failed once. Once in my entire life. Only once. So please rescind that statement. I haven't failed. I simply need to take some additional measures. He said, now that's what I like to hear, Skeptic. Shit, don't you call me no failure, bro. <laughs> he said, don't do that. Don't call me no motherfucking failure. And then we still got Garen over here. I Garen, I forget what this man's name is, my bad. But the dude from the League of Villains who did all the scouting. Overcome his trauma. So you fancy yourself a doctor, huh? But it still serves you right. Now that he ain't chained down, he's capable of just about anything. At the very least, You've lost your numerical advantage, like I was saying. That 100K don't matter no more. And then he says, so we'll overcome quantity with quality. Ain't that right? Apro Krypha, uh, them, this must be the dude to Dobby fight. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking look at, is Dobby surprised? Is Dobby surprised right now? Or is he like, is, what's going on? Cause he, he's a surprise or scared, one of the two. But they're running hands right now, firing ice, boy. This shit great. I can't wait to see how this shit look. Because ice versus blue fire, ooh, that motherfucker gonna be sexy, dog. I need that. It, it's looking like Dobby pushing bro back. You're acting awfully optimistic considering how screwed you are. Your ice is almost gone. And then Mr. Capress still going crazy, fighting shit and shit. If you got time to relax, then help me out over here. He said, why do I have to help you? You're a bit lacking in compassion. He said, all I'm saying is you should ask them instead. <laughs> it's gonna be a sea of fucking twices. Get down. I'm not reading all this shit, bro. Dobby, you're fucking... <laughs> Dobby, Mr. Compress, your saver twice has arrived. Come get some. It's like, Dobby, I'll slide everybody. Hands. Toga's gonna die. You alive? I'm back here. Y'all can still make more. Don't step on my foot. Mr. Press like, would you put a sock in this? Shut your ass up. He's like, what about your trauma? He's like, I overcame it with the power of love and courage. <laughs> I mean, no, you didn't. Somebody broke your arms for you to fucking overcome it. Stop lying. Stop. <laughs> Nigga, he said, sure, I'll take it. See, he don't even believe it. He said, sure, I'll take your word for it. But that sounds like the first chapter of a hero story or something like that. You're supposed to be a villain. He said, what's wrong with a villain wanting to save his comrade? He said, pressure to me. Nice line, me. <laughs> that's right. I've only got a few friends in this world, and that's you guys. You're all precious to me. Like, ha, wait, am I stupid? Can't deny that. So they all still kind of thinking the same. Bro, that's kind of dope. They all in their own fights, but they all like low key halfway thinking the same thoughts that he's thinking. Because even they saying, You guys are way better in a fight than playing me. That's right, I'm a genius. All right, let's get a crack at it. I can actually make that 20,000 cracks. He can make 20,000 hymns. <laughs> he said, All right, I'm gonna duplicate you guys too. We won't be just a league anymore. With our population, we'll be our own city. All right, here we go. Villain City, hold on. Wait a minute twice. If we completely annihilate the Liberation Army here, we'll have no pawns to throw at Jigato Monkey when he shows up later. Oh, hold on! They plotting, plotting now. They even like, y'all ain't even gonna be able to stop Jigato Monkey. So like, shit, we gotta save some of these people. Hold on. They get, I feel like they getting a little cocky now. They getting a little cocky now. And they're like, how much longer till that big lug gets here? Are we just gonna go easy on them now? All right, Dobby, no copies then. Should we just burn everything? How about the massacre? One hour and five minutes. Twice like, got it. More importantly, Tug is in trouble. I'll tell you where she is, so hurry up and boom. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That must be fucking whatever that dude's name is. What, I gotta go. Oh, man. Mr. Skeptic. Skeptical. 
So I'm thinking that was Mr. Skeptic blowing shit up. Dog. 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 It's a whole explosion. And like, it's a bunch of twice that just, just died. Like, the fuck. Oh, shit. Head over. Oh, God. He's like, me. No. <laughs> it's a bunch of clones saying, me. And so Dobby said, is ice the local delicacy in this town or something? Why is there so goddamn much of it? And shit just splashing on him. I told you, didn't I? I can control ice. So he's freezing shit. He's like, oh, so that's how it is. I can also control its temperature. So wait a minute. The temperature? If I implant my ice in the water line and decrease its temperature, the water will freeze and be at my command. Oh, shit. So he got halfway frozen, halfway not frozen ice up in the water. He said, so why you didn't just do that from the beginning? You pissed me off. He said the future the Liberation Army is working to create, the strength of your superpower will be directly connected to your status in society. In other words, to live is to strengthen your superpower. But that don't answer his question of saying why he didn't just do that shit from the beginning. Damn! So that's, okay, so that is not Mr. Skeptic doing that. That's Ice Dude, he just lift a hand up and a bunch of bullshit explode. Me! No! Twice is still crying and shit. And he said a person's only worth lies in the strength of their powers. And then Dobby fucking smiled at his ass. Now that's just sad. Die already. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who else thinks like that? Motherfucking NG Todoroki. <laughs> so Dobby, you already know that this is not how. I mean, I'm sorry. You, it's not that you already don't. You, you don't already know because this is something that hasn't been proven yet. But if Dobby does end up being somebody related to the Todoroki family, don't it make sense? Don't that response just make sense? Now that's just sad. Die already. What does what? What? else that has he said that's just sad to literally not like nothing dog like no nothing has made him feel like that come on bruh come on bruh they keep on dropping hints i was thinking that this dude might be related to todoroki and them they mama because he got ice she had ice bruh he said you'll be the one to die weird of the blue flames your body's been giving off a burnt smell for a while now a <laughs> burnt smell <laughs> shit i want to i want to that's always made me wonder about his scars and shit like that. I wonder if that's a result of his powers or fucking Inji. <laughs> he said, ascertaining your opponent's superpower is the basics in combat. Your skin is inflamed and look like it could peel off at any moment. In other words, you cannot fight for very long or else you'd be burned by your own flames. And that is why Todoroki has to also be ice. So he can... Dog, if... Dog, that's... A... It just makes so much sense if they if he end up being fucking a Todoroki. And his scars obviously also make sense. I was thinking that maybe that was a part of his costume. Nope. It's just a part of his power. He just burns himself. And then Mr. Press looking over him. Such a wide range attack. His allies are getting caught up in it too. At any rate, that Iceman's in a league of his own. It'd be great if we could just have him go against Makia, but... <laughs> Dobby? And then so they didn't cut back to the doctor. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to use underhanded tactics. Hmm. If you were to die here, I wouldn't be able to face off for one. If who were to die here, you wouldn't be able to face off for one. If who were to die, shit, girl, right? Who, huh? Underhanded tactics? Who, hey, hold on, hold on. Who was using underhanded tactics? Unless they were talking about them with the, the whole, like, having them fight Giganto Makia. Having these dudes fight Giganto. Who's using underhanded tactics? What? Wake up. Your massive successor is doing his best out there, even though he's sleep deprived. Oh shit, oh, oh, he about to wake up, Makia. <laughs> he about to wake that man up, boom. Hello, how you doing? The beast stirs, and he's about to stir up a calamity. It's time, chapter 230, and hold on. Giganto Makia has been awakened. Giganto Makia is out here now. It's time, next day. Shit, next chapter about to go crazy. Shit, next chapter about to go crazy. I wonder, shit, maybe this will make Makia respect him. Maybe they gonna fight. I don't know. Like, the doctor's calling him over. Is the doctor just calling them over? Or is he gonna help at the doctor's request? I wonder. Because he listens to the doctor. Apparently, he listens to the doctor. But, I want, like, he, this man just uprooted trees coming out the ground. What the hell? Where was he sleeping at? 
where he had to uproot some trees. That don't make no damn sense. I'm ex I'm excited. I'm excited for the rest of this arc, dog, because like we gonna keep on getting backstories. That means we obviously come into the inevitable. We are coming to the fucking Dobby story, and they keep on giving us little hints of things. And like Dobby kept Dobby has given me like recalls of things that Angie's done to them. The fucking dog is yeah. It's my favorite arc. It's my favorite. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna say it now. It's probably gonna be my favorite arc. Depending on how it ends. Like, we got, my, we got an ice dude. That, again, that's my favorite element right there. Ice versus fight. Dog. We got a, the fucking toga fight. Ice versus fire fight. We probably gonna get a Shigaraki fight. If you got some Maki roll through this motherfucking fight. Dobby fight. Yeah, this might this might be my favorite arc. Now, my fa one of my, my favorite moments is shit like that. You know my boy Mirio where he was fighting against that nigga overhaul. <laughs> Fight wise, yeah, but arc wise, shit. This this is starting to feel like it's gonna take the cake arc wise because I'm loving it. I'm loving this arc, dog. This shit is nice. We getting all they backstory. This is how you build villains. We getting all their backstories. We getting all their powers. They all are getting power ups. So like win or lose, they all gonna be way stronger. So for when they fight the actual heroes, and I say win or lose, I still feel like they gonna win. I wonder, I'm starting to wonder if the heroes are going to have anything to do with taking out the Liberation Army. I might be wrong. I was thinking that this arc at the end of it, maybe like the heroes got to come through and like it's all ends out in all our war and it ends up with Midoriya and Shigaraki on both ends of the hero villain spectrum saying I am here. But shit, this might be the just the villain end of the spectrum. Him taking out the other people would be like I am here. And it's up to Izuku to be like, eventually one day to do the whole I am here thing. Maybe. But either way, I th I think it's going to happen with Shigaraki. Yeah, I think it's going to Now, will it still happen with Deku and them? I'm starting to lean towards no. Shigaraki, hell yeah. He about to show the world that I am here. I am here to fear. Be on your P's and Q's when I'm up out here, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking my hero is going crazy. This is easily easily about to become my favorite art but as far as this live reaction goes it's pretty much all y'all for y'all this time around so like i always say leave a like comment subscribe pull up to the twitch stream pull up to the discord and y'all have a good one